Hi everyone, welcome to a long overdue episode 63 of another Skyrim mod feature. First up in this episode, we're going to take a look at two mods from Arthmore. First of those is going to be Soldier's Sinkhole. The mod adds a little bit of extra character to this small mining settlement, and we'll see a similar thing in the next mod we look at as well. It adds a couple of buildings here and there, and just generally fleshes out this very small area. Arthmore has done similar work in the past with several other mods, and this mod author is very good at adding just the right amount of extra buildings and NPCs etc, just enough to make it not over cluttered and give the place a little bit of extra character and no cost in performance. All of the added houses have been Radiant Quest enabled, which means you could get quests for particular locations in this settlement, for things like the Companions quest line. The second of these small settlement expansions looks towards the Whistling Mine, which is just outside of Winterhold. Here you will actually find three new buildings have been constructed around a small well. These weren't here before at all, it was just the bare bones of the mine, which kind of led you to think, where did these people actually live? Maybe and surely they would have made some houses and a small settlement around where they worked. As with the previous mod, there is the bare minimum added here, just enough to make it seem natural, and again, you shouldn't notice any performance impact. If you're like me and you've had countless playthroughs of Skyrim, spending time in pretty much all of the locations, and you're looking for something just to add a little bit extra and spice things up, then this is definitely a set of mods that you should take a look at, and I recommend that you look at Arthmore's other mods that do a similar thing. Next up we have the Rustic Elder Scroll from Gamwich. This is another part of the Rustic series and brings 2K or 4K textures to the Elder Scroll. In this video, I'm using the 4K textures. On top of this, there is also replacement textures for the Elder Scroll reading effect. That's when you open up the scroll and the text, etc., and the lights flash before your eyes. There has been an update to this mod to add some effects for that as well. I'm a really big fan of the Rustic series of mods from Ganwich, and this is no exception. I really like the new darker colour of this texture, especially now that you can see all of the engravings quite clearly on the scroll. It just makes it look a lot more regal and a lot more impressive in game. Last up in this video, I want to take a look at the Doom Hammer by John Skyrim. Now, I've been looking for a hammer to play with in Skyrim for a while now, and this fits the bill nicely. It looks great in game and has a real punch behind it. This is a one handed hammer, and a small quest line has been added to the game in order for you to obtain the weapon. A new portal has opened beneath the shrine of Azura, and it's up to you to investigate. The Frost Wolf Clan are a peaceful tribe of orcs that will do anything to protect their home. This outpost houses Doomhammer, a great hammer so powerful that its power must be consistently contained by the tribe's shaman. The NPCs of this questline are level 20, and the mod author has stressed that the weapon has no connection to World of Warcraft other than its namesake. One of my favourite features about the hammer is when you have it equipped and the emblem or symbol on it lights up. It looks really imposing in battle and just gives a great effect when you're smashing your enemies with the hammer. There are several texture variants available for this mod. There is 1K, 2K and 4K textures, so everybody should have or find an option to suit their needs. 
So that brings me to the end of this episode. If you've liked any of the mods that I've shown in this video, you'll find links down in the description below. Just be sure to endorse any mods that you use. As always guys, you can find more of my content over on Twitch and Twitter, as well as nozgaming.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.